Okay, let's try this again. I've tried to start this up about four times now. Let's see what we can do. All right, it's going. Okay, time is going now. You know, I got a limit to 10 minutes. You know how U2 is with their lining and everything. Okay, hello everybody. This is JD. Today I'm going to talk to you some more, a little bit about our economy. What's going to turn our economy around? Well, I heard some interesting news today about the people who are going to be on the czar team for fixing automotives. Very interesting group of people. One has two cars, a Volvo and Mercedes. One other have a Honda and the other one has a, a Cura or something like that. Actually, and there's two people that don't have cars and all these people that don't have American cars on this team for America Automotive Builders. I find that very interesting and the question to be asked is why didn't they buy American cars? That's the question. Why did they not buy American cars? That's what the big three should be asking. Not, oh, they don't have American cars, how can they? Why did the people who are going to help fix us don't want to buy American cars? <clears throat> the truth of the matter is, what's going to turn our economy around isn't a billion dollars here, a billion dollars there, 23 million here, 40 million here, 2 or 3 billion here. That's not going to turn our economy around. I mean, look at our stocks. My 401k. Uh, for some reason, for the past year, has been going in the wrong direction. At least what I call the wrong direction. It seems to go wherever it wants. Down, 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 down. <clears throat> but, what can I say? My savings account is getting larger than my 401k, and I'm on unemployment. Why is that? Because my 401k is going down a lot faster than my savings account. <clears throat> so what's going to turn all this economy around? Believe it or not, not the rich people. Not the people with all the money. Then what's going to turn it around? Well, let me talk to you a little bit about some things that I've experienced. i got about six minutes. I started getting paid $15 an hour, which is now nothing an hour, a while back. A loaf of bread was 65 cents a loaf. A gallon of gas high test was about $1.30. Okay. Well, what has happened since then? Well, our government has decided to get in there and start helping our economy. They come up with these rules and regulations for banking, saying you have to give people who are extremely low end, low end of our economy money. You got to give them loans. You got to let them because they may belong to a special interest group of some type or of another. They're not Americans, they're a special interest group. Well, unfortunately, those people can't afford the loans, but they got the loans. At the same time, to show that you are equal opportunity a lender, you're going to give loans to people you would not normally give loans to because the government is going to give you in turn. So we got a lot of people borrowing money, buying things they should never have bought. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. I mean, really. And this is not an exaggeration. You go into any any major apartment complex or housing complex where the majority of people are on welfare, and they have either the largest or among the largest LCD to LED TVs or giant screen TVs. Every one of them. I didn't get one till it got down to a reasonable price that I could afford, that I could buy. And then I still had to buy it on credit. But the truth of the matter is, what's going to turn our economy around? Giving GM and Chrysler all the money in the world is not going to help. 
It's not going to. Because all it does is it prolong. It's giving vacation pay is what it's giving. Nothing else. Just vacation pay. Because what are they going to be doing? Building cars that nobody buys? You see, showrooms are already filled. So what do they got to do? Take out these new cars that have never been sold and bring in other new cars that no one's going to buy? Nope. Well, Chrysler was in trouble once before. And Lee Iktor got it out. How did he do it? You might remember it. it was called the Aries. He produced a car for the family that was close to half of what everybody else was doing. And that car saved the company. Why? It didn't have a lot of am amenities to it. It was first come out as a standard, then they added a transmission. It didn't have this big engine. It had the 2.2 liter and four cylinder in it. It didn't have no fancy leather. It had a lot of plastic on it. And it, it looked nice. And it usually came as a four door. <clears throat> and it was generally a color coded, but not very many colors to choose from. Then how did they do it? People bought the cars. And that's what did it. Well, when you go to the store and you find a loaf of bread for two dollars, <throat> when you find a gallon of milk for four dollars, you find hamburger running almost three dollars a pound. How do you expect the economy to turn around? How do you expect things to change? It won't until the American starts buying our economy will continue in the direction it's going so it comes down to bottom line manufacturers retailers it's resting in your basket now you have to get the American citizen to buy your product. Don't worry about the rest of the world. Figure out how to get them to come out of their house and buy. Figure out how they will buy those extras. Because it's without them there is no economy. <clears throat> without the American buying the product in this country there is no economy. You got to figure it out. I already know the answer. And it's not producing a $30,000 car. It's not even producing a 20000 or even a 15000 You better get under 10000 if you want them to buy a car. We have gone into a form where things have priced themselves so high that even a loaf of bread is ridiculous. And because of that, there's a lot less people working today. So retailers, the answer to turning our economy around is not in Washington, but in your lap now. The ball has been thrown. The American citizen has thrown the ball into your side of the court. Can you handle it? Or will you continue to fold one right after the other? That is the question you have to answer.